Hello, today I'm making this video to see if this JB Weld plastic weld is going to be useful in fixing the carburetor float bowl. This carburetor is plastic and the drawback with that is in this instance there was some trauma to it where it ended up cracking and now you can see the gas leaking out. So as we flip this over you're going to see there's a very small hairline fracture in there and the gas is just coming on out at a good rate. I still want to keep this carburetor because repairing it is about $60 versus re using some of this uh, 5 to $7 JB plastic weld. So we're going to go ahead and, and take that off and start preparing. So the first step is you're going to turn your fuel line off and try to pour any gas back from your carburetor through the fuel line so it's not going to be a big issue and have a bunch of it leak. The next thing we're going to do is take out these four screws. it all should come out together and you're going to find a gasket that's going to be in there as well. And this one's actually stuck to the top. The next step we're going to do is we're going to clean this all off. We're going to use some nice soapy water to get all the gas residue off to help it bond the JB plastic weld bond better. So I'm just going to use some soapy water, some Dawn dish soap, and using a rag here to clean this all off and get making sure all the oil is out and all the fuel residue is out of this out of this piece where the JB weld is going to be going. Okay, so afterwards now you can see everything's nice and clean and dry. I did just take a little graphite to rule to show you where the um, break was on each side. So you can sort of see it's a bigger crack than you think. So let's see how this works. So I follow the rules it says um, I took it out of the plastic and I just used a pair of sharp scissors after I popped it out to cut out the amount I needed. It's like in this plastic roll. So I just took the top off, took the amount I needed, and laid it down, cut the thin amount of plastic off, and this is mixed thoroughly, and then creating that uniform color so it's gray and blue. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and just press it firmly. The thing below I did is um, we roughened the surface with coarse sandpaper, as I used uh, 220 grit, which I mean, I, I'm not sure how much it really matters, but then we just cleaned all that off afterwards. So where we're at now is I'm just going to go ahead and place the putty into the... Okay, you can see here now that after the epoxy, they said 20 to 25 minutes to dry on the box. I gave it a couple hours. But I put those four screws back in. I'm going to go ahead and turn the fuel line back on. And we'll see how this works. Are so good all right so I'd say JB weld plastic can work good to repair your cracked carburetor fuel bowl thank you for taking the time to watch and good luck